Good morning guys, it is Wednesday today and we are at Dalloway Terrace bright and early, it's nine o'clock. Um, we're having breakfast before a day of meetings. Um, we got back super late last night from Brussels so I'm absolutely knackered, so you can see it in my eyes, they look really red. Um, but we've just ordered, we're here for the launch of the new Terrace. You can see it behind me, it's so beautiful. I think the hashtag is, what's the hashtag there? Oh, okay, on, I'll find it and I'll put it down below. Um, and I'll also insert my Instagram picture, hopefully, if I manage to get one here. Um, we've ordered, I've ordered the smoked salmon on Guinness bread because it is probably one of the best things I've ever had. And Ben has gone for, what did you go for the Spanish omelette? With a side of bacon? sausage and bacon. Um, so we're going to wait for the food to come. Peppy is at home and actually she was super knackered, so just wanted to sleep this morning, which was fine with us because we had to rush out. I have a meeting after this at 11, but we're really going to enjoy breakfast. I need a cup of tea. Food has arrived. I've got this one on. Ben is going for the Spanish omelet. Yeah, and I've also got a cheeky little croissant because what's breakfast without a pudding? When I think about yesterday My oh my Oh my god it is so heavy <laughs> My oh my Kiss and so I did It's a great time to come into Zara, isn't it? What's funny is if I said this, no one would even know if I look, would they? If I literally just like. <laughs> I think I should try it. Yeah, really nice. They're cool, aren't they? They're just very thin. Blurry again. Is it focused? Okay, we had a successful Zara shop with the new branded bags. Ben's with me still, he's gonna walk me to my meeting. Um, and then we're gonna head home. I bought all the summer clothes and it's um, midwinter and I'm wearing a thick jacket, Ben's wearing a scarf, but you know, you never know how quickly summer might come along. So I'm off to my meeting now. Bumped into loads of people at Dalloway, which was really, really nice. Um, off to the meeting and then home. My makeup is rubbing so much. I just want to take all my makeup off and get back into bed. So I am in the Bobby Brown store and we're just putting on some face base before I get my match. I think we've decided to go for sand, which my, is, my. which one have we gone for? Is, for sand. is it yeah. that one? My, is that sand? My. So this one here, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'm showing you the right one. But we've tried on all of these as well and this seems to be the best one. Let's go. Is this bronzer? It is like, bronzer. Yeah. This will be your, your Greek sun. <laughs> so we need, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Needed in this horrible British weather. Uh, the sun's out today, so <laughs> a plus. So a little bit on the forehead, start on the cheek. And wherever, if you have a little bit more coverage on the cheeks, it's yeah. important to really just pat it in okay. and feather away. Okay. It's almost kind of not there, but there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Perfect. If you don't mind, I would like to tell you a couple of stories because there is a story behind of each of the sets. Yes. So, um, in 1876, uh, Queen Victoria, she got a title Empress of India, yes? And also she was allowed all kind of Indian curry dishes. And one of her servants was Indian, so he prepared for her coronation chicken. She really loved it and sees that every day for a dish, she had coronation chicken. About uh, roast angus beef in Albert, uh, with Albert sauce, uh, Prince Albert and Queen Victoria, it was their favorite dish. 
And when Prince Albert died in 1861, uh, Queen Victoria she kept the dish, and every Saturday night she had a roast Albert beef just to keep memory about the about the cucumber sandwich. First time uh, she tried English cucumber with her lifelong friend Simon, the Duchess of Bedford. She presented the cucumber sandwich. She really loved it, and later on she had some pink pepper corn to have a better taste. About smoked salmon and Cheshire cheese, one of her favorite uh, sporting destinations between uh, York and Balmoral, which is uh, north of the um, uh, United Kingdom. Uh, basically, she stopped off for a couple of tea and she tried first time salmon and Cheshire cheese in there and she didn't love it and later on she ordered 800 pounds of Cheshire cheese to be mature for two years to back it on bats. And uh, the last one is a uh, ham pop with pistachio and truffle. We try to create something similar as they also like uh, the wild boar's head, particular cooking a brew with pistachio and truffle. So that's what is our similar ham pop with pistachio and truffle. So please enjoy your afternoon. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Ooh. Just got back from our afternoon tea and obviously hair up straight away. Still got my earrings in. Um, got changed. I'm so hot. It's so windy out there, but it was so hot on the tube and I get really hot and really cold really quickly. So I was on the tube with my coat on. Normally I can take it off, but when Ben's not there, it's really hard. I've obviously got the camera, my bag, and then we had we took some cakes away from the afternoon tea. So I'm there with like the bag of cakes. They give us a jammy dodger. I've got my camera, I've got my bag, I've got my coat. And you know when it's like not easy to take everything off and I wasn't sitting down. So I'm like there overheating, dripping with sweat. I know this is TMI, you really don't need to know this. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm home now. Ben's watching the rugby. He's just had something to eat. Peppy gave me the nicest welcome to come home. She always runs to the top of the stairs and like whines at me when I come in, which is super cute. Um, I think we're gonna go to the pub for supper, but obviously I'm so full after that afternoon tea. I need a bit of a break. May have a nap. I never have an afternoon nap, but um, I'm feeling quite dozy after all that food and sugar and champagne. It was so nice to see the girls though. Angie organised it all, which was really, really lovely. Um, and I've never been to the Oscar Wilde room at Hotel Cafe Royale before, and it was so lovely. It's absolutely stunning, like unbelievably beautiful. It was really busy, um, the staff there were amazing, being completely honest, the sandwiches weren't great, the only one that had good flavour was the um, coronation chicken, the rest uh, weren't great, my cucumber sandwich was really soggy, it had like water in it which is really bizarre. Um, so that was a bit of a shame, but the cakes more than made up for it, the scones were perfect and the service was incredible. So all in all it was a lovely experience, maybe... Sorry guys, it cut out um, because I ran out of space on the camera, I've deleted loads of stuff now so we have some space. Um, but yeah, I just want to say it's been such a lovely day, it's so nice to see Angie and Laura again. They are literally some of my day one girls from blogging, I've known them literally since the start for such a long time and they're both amazing people so it was really really nice to see them again have a catch up we haven't done that in the longest time um but yeah i'm gonna sign off now we might go to the pub later um i'll pick the vlog back up later and let you know what we're up to um yeah see you later got a glass of wine ben's got his assholes peppy's between us and we are very happy at our local pub. This is the Washington. <laughs> it's gonna focus. Super, super chilled Saturday night with a glass of wine and some ice in it, obviously, because it's gotta be ice cold. Super happy. Happy? Happy? <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> So I have gone for the sea bass on gnocchi, which is so tasty, and Ben has gone for the what? The cheddar pie. Has it got any meat in it? Steak. Steak and cheddar pie with chips. And somebody's upset. <laughs> oh, Peppy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfect timing. <laughs> So we're about to leave and then we saw this rain. I mean, can you see it in the doorway there? It's absolutely horrific. So I ordered another glass of wine and Ben has another drink and we've just ordered a sticky toffee pudding, which I cannot wait for.
Do you not want to go outside with Daddy? <laughs> Do you not want to go outside, Peppy? Come on, pick a harness on. You need to go for your morning wee. Bye bye Pippi. Hi guys, it is a new day and I think what I'm gonna do is stick a few of the vlogs that I've been filming together because I've had a few breaks in between where we've literally just been at home working away on the laptops. Um, today we are on our way to lunch at Mr. Fogg's House of Botanicals. I'm really looking forward to it, you? I am indeed. It, um, it's the brand new one in Fitzrovia and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing it. It looks absolutely beautiful. We brought the camera so we can do a bit of blogging. Um, and yeah, can't wait. We're gonna have a catch up with the PR for the Inception group as well. Um, so hopefully we'll find out all the new things that are going on. So here we are. This is the new Mr. Fogg's. How beautiful does this look? I'm so excited. Ready to go in? <laughs> Okay, cocktails have arrived because you can't come to Mr. Fogg's without having a cocktail. I've gone for the flight of the hummingbird. What's yours? Gully of ferns. The what? Gully of Gully of ferns. ferns. And Ben? Uh, arid something. <laughs> You're really selling that, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't it? This place is so pretty. I'll flip you guys around in a second. Cheers everybody. Cheers guys. Just, just cheers. This looks so good. So these are the crab sandwiches. Don't know what's happened to the light. It looks super weird now, but these look so good. Oh, I hope mine's nice as well now. <laughs> I know. Okay, then this is mine. Looks so yummy. Yeah. Ben now wants to go half and half, standard. <laughs> you happy with your choice? <laughs> so this is the trio of fries. We have sweet potato. I actually don't know what any of them are. Roman. Huh? Roman has rosemary and truffle. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Cajun fries. Oh yum. This looks so good. <laughs> so happy. This is the decadent dough, we think it's called. <laughs> They're like little mini donuts. They look so good. Your mouth is practically watering, isn't it? <laughs> Do you let us know what you think? Oh, it's big. I thought it was smaller. Are they? Okay. I won't film you then. <laughs> Right guys, I am back home now, just walking Peppy. Um, we had such a lovely lunch. I didn't really do much like FaceTime, but hopefully I'll show you more of the Jo Malone event later on. And then we got the San Miguel event as well. Leave it there. Gross, gross, gross. She has this thing where she goes near poo and like sniffs it and then runs away from it. So funny. Anyway, so I'm home now. I'm absolutely shattered and I'm not sure why. We had a cocktail at lunch and I think it might be that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go home now, smash out some work for a few hours and then Ben is gonna come back and then we're gonna head off to the Joe Malone event. Okay, it's quite a few hours later now. Ben is back with me. Smile. <laughs> um, we are on our way to the Joe Malone event. I have a blistering headache but i'm gonna power on through and hopefully i will be okay um we're taking peppy with us because it's quite we've got this event and then we've got another event straight after and it might be quite a long evening so i'm gonna take her with us so that she is fine um because she's been in the house all day as well so it's not much fun for her she's gonna come with us which should be really fun watch out for the glass ben oh, yeah. there's glass on the pavement here um but yeah, I will catch up with you guys when we get to the event.
see anything. Yep, there's people here. Look how gorgeous this setup is. So beautiful. All these different colours. We're going to go to each of the rooms. You can see all the different colours over here as well. So we're going to make our way through them, I think, now. Okay, so this is the first room. This is the Silk Blossom Cologne. How beautiful. This is the pink room. Peppy is chilling. Aren't you, girl? Good girl. Good girl. orange blossom room. Check out that beautiful, beautiful bottle if it wants to focus. No, it doesn't. There we go. And look at all of this. So beautiful. And then we have the frangipani flower. So lovely. And this room is all yellow. Can I get a wedding day over there? Be you happy girl? Magnolia cologne and it is all green. How cool is this? So this is the Frangipani room. How beautiful. So they're doing some little tie-dyes on the boxes. Looks so pretty. And then you've got all the fragrances around here. This is so aesthetic. I love it. Oh, so pretty. And they always do the most beautiful rooms, Jo Malone. They make it look so pretty. Look at this. And then this is the gorgeous film. This is the bar. So, so beautiful. Now at Somerset House. Look how gorgeous it looks behind me. I'll flip the camera around in a sec so you can see. We are here for the launch of the San Miguel uh, Somerset House Terrace, which is down over on the South Terrace, I think Ben said. Um, so we're heading there now to go and have a look. Um, and Peppy's been allowed to come with us as well, which is great news. So, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if you can hear me above the sound of the fountains, but it's so beautiful. Let me show you. Here we are. And this is it. How gorgeous does this look? Good morning everyone, I feel like I look really pale today. Um, we are going to go for a spot of breakfast this morning, we're going to go to one of our favourite local cafes called Chamomile. Um, can't wait and then we're going to take Peppy for a walk on Primrose Hill which is her favourite spot so it's going to be quite a nice little morning. Um, it's Friday today so we don't have any meetings which is nice so we're going to go for breakfast and then come back and smash out the work or probably do a few emails over breakfast anyway. Um, but it's going to be a late breakfast so it'll probably turn into a bit of a brunch um, but I love chamomile so let's go because I'm really hungry. So we're here at chamomile now, this is the menu. I go for the pancakes that aren't on the menu and I get a half portion so it's just one pancake and bananas and strawberries and it is the yummiest thing. Are you sniffing my camera? Are you? My friend. <laughs> is it Maggie? No, it's not. Come on. No, to me. <laughs> to me. Your hot dog. 
Can you a hot dog? Come on. Ready? Go. Good girl. Come on then. It's so bright, I've resorted to sunglasses to speak to you guys. It is such a beautiful day on Primrose Hill today. So nice, I wish we brought a picnic blanket so that we could sit out. Um, ben is playing with Peppy here. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and we're just chilling on Primrose Hill for the morning and then I gotta get back and do a lot of work. Chamomile was so yummy. They do the best food, they do the best pancakes, like, Breakfast pancakes, she what? She dropped it. No, I did, I turned this right. Oh dear, <laughs> embarrassing. Um, yeah, they do the best pancakes in London, like breakfast pancakes. If you want crepes, the best crepes are at the Hampstead Crepery. Um, but yeah, the best pancakes in London are at Chamomile. They are so good. And the staff in there are so lovely as well. And they're dog friendly. So any place that dogs that is dog friendly is good for me. Um, if you didn't know, I have a dog friendly section on my website. Um, I'll link it down below. But there is basically like all the dog friendly places that I recommend in London and across the world as well because we're starting to travel a bit more with Peppy so we can recommend some good places to go with your dogs. So check it out if you haven't already. Oh. We've got a group of pups. Is that her ball? Yeah. <laughs> Who's got it? The black one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I actually want to. See, got your ball, Peppy. <laughs> what did you find? Peppy, what have you got? Look at your little face. Peppy, you are too much. So cute. You're not picking up properly. I'm not throwing that, no way. Come on, come on. Look how gorgeous today is, just pure blue sky. Sunshine, are you happy, Ben? Such nice weather, isn't it? Look at her go! <laughs> She's decided that's hers now. Right, I am at home. I am currently in our bedroom, which looks an absolute state right now. Ben cooked us a yummy lunch. We had some tortilla and some salad, um, like Spanish tortilla. Um, and yeah, now I'm in my bedroom. We are trying to pack up all our winter clothes. Basically, we're going to Thailand next week. And when I come back, I'm hoping that it's going to have warmed up loads and it's gonna be super lovely weather. It's so nice today, it's like 17 degrees. So I'm hoping that, um, yeah, when we come back from Thailand, it's gonna be similar weather. So I'm gonna pack up all my jumpers, all my fur coats, things like that, put them into storage because we have absolutely no room here. The bedroom is looking a state at the moment because I've put everything into piles. Um, I'll flip the camera around so you can see, but storage-wise, we really don't have much in this flat. Um, I'm beauty obsessed, so I have like masses of space for beauty. This is my, this is my beauty storage here. So I've got like, sunglasses in here what have i got in here i don't even know <laughs> toothbrushes all the things that you need like face mask. this is like my face mask drawer then i've got oh my god this is so bad isn't it i've got like all beauty things here that i still need to try out then fragrances here i've got like my favorite fragrances that i'm currently using up there this is so dusty it needs cleaning and then down here i don't even know what's down here i've got like prints um, this is so bad, I really need to clear this out. Like brushes, makeup palettes down there, and then I've got more makeup stuff here. This is like stuff to try out. Um, and then again, in my bedside table, I've got makeup storage. This is like the stuff that I use quite regularly, um, and like little pouches and things, my hairbrush, hand cream, because I put hand cream on every evening without fail. Um, and then, this is my, this is my wardrobe. So, as you can see, oh, the light's gonna play around, isn't it? So this is my wardrobe, we have suitcases up there, like, honestly, the storage here is so bad. We've got, I've got dresses on this side, and then I've got coats and things on this side, and then I have this drawer, and this drawer, and then the bottom drawer is Ben's, and he has, like, these little drawers in the cubby and stuff as well, and then he's got this wardrobe, you see all his bags piled up. This is why we need to move. We have so much stuff and so little storage. Like all the stuff on the bed that I've piled up. And then Ben also has all his coat storage here. And then if I take you into the sitting room, Ben's working away there. Um, this is all Ben's coats as well. So we literally, storage wise, have nothing. And Ben has ended up with more storage space than me. Mm. 
How did you manage that, Ben? First come, first serve. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's, that's basically a big reason why we need to move. We just have no storage whatsoever, but also we just need more space. And we would love to have a little garden for this one. She's absolutely knackered. We tied her out in the park for this little one to um, run around in. It would be so nice. But anyway, I'm procrastinating now, so I'm going to get back into the bedroom and I'm gonna go and put my stuff into storage. Let's do this. Okay guys, it is now the evening. It's about half six and we are home. This afternoon we ran loads of errands, so I was in my sports kit. Um, sports kit? That sounds like I'm still at school. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, so we literally just like ran around, did all the errands that we needed to do. I finished packing away all my winter stuff, so I'm really happy about that. The only thing I have left left to do is pack away my winter shoes at this time by the way i don't know why i'm so white something has happened to this camera the white balance is so off um but yeah it's still in between these seasons so i feel like i can't put away like my boots and stuff yet just in case the weather doesn't stay this nice so i'm gonna hang on to everything for a little while but this is the stuff that i packed away so this is all going down to my parents in devon into storage literally all my knits all my coats everything um and ben has this bag here these two are mine and then we've got like hats and scarves and stuff in there and in the other bags as well and then there's a bag of clothes to take to harriet as well so hopefully um hopefully we can fit all that in the car tomorrow um tonight i have i'm working away to be honest i've got a glass of wine so it's 6.30, but actually I'm more productive in the evening anyway. I'm gonna have a, I've not had a sip of this yet. Oh, yum. So I've discovered this new Provence rosé. It's called Oriel. And it is so tasty. Um, so I've got a bottle of that. I won't get through the whole bottle, don't worry. Um, so I'm gonna have a glass now and I'm going to edit this vlog. Um, I've also got a few things. So I don't know if you can see my to-do list behind me. Um... I also have a few things to do. Um, if you don't know, I don't think I've mentioned it yet actually, but I have set up a um, content creation agency with my best friend Harriet. Um, so it's called KH Social. So I will link our website down below so you can check it out. But essentially, we create we create content for brands. Um, and I do all the photography, we create the content, we set up uh, monthly content calendars, that kind of stuff. I won't go into it all, but um, if you know anyone that's interested and needs help, then let us know. More than happy to chat to them. Um, but yeah, that's going really well, so I have lots of things to do for that tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with some work. We've ordered a takeaway. We've got, um, what have we got coming? I don't know if you watched my last vlog, but if you watched my last vlog where we were in Brussels, we discovered these gorgeous, like, um, bao buns, and we found somewhere that does them here, so we got them, um, and some duck pancakes, that should be really tasty, and then I've got some strawberries for pudding, so that'll be really yummy. But I'm going to sign off here, I'll see you in the next vlog. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do go and hit it. Um, I'd love to have you along. We've got lots of exciting things and we're off to Thailand next week. But it was a super last minute decision. Um, we were toying with the idea of going somewhere and we were hoping we would go to Thailand. But, but as always with Ben and I, we didn't tie it together until the last minute. So we are off to Thailand. We booked our flights today. Um, so it's Friday today and we're going on Wednesday. So we literally booked our flights today. So that's how last minute it was. Um, but I can't wait for that. I can't wait to see some sunshine and obviously I'll be vlogging it as well. Um, so I'll take you guys along with me. But yeah, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.